Welcome, dear dreamers, to another night in the magical realm of Eldoria. Tonight, we follow the journey of a brave girl named Lila, who can hear the whispers of the shadows. In a land where shadows are alive and secrets are hidden in the darkness, Lila's destiny begins to unfold. As you listen, imagine the gentle rustle of leaves and the soft glow of moonlight guiding you into a peaceful sleep. Let go of your worries and allow the magic of Eldoria to fill your dreams. Close your eyes and drift off, knowing that you are safe and loved. Sleep well, dear listeners and let the shadows guide you to the land of dream. Chapter One, The Kingdom of Shadows. In the heart of the world, veiled by the mists of time and space, lay Eldoria, a kingdom unlike any other. This was a land where the sun smiled gently upon golden fields, and the moon watched over silent forests with a serene gaze. But what made Eldoria truly unique was not just the beauty that met the eye. It was what whispered in the absence of light, the shadows. Eldoria's shadows were not mere darkness cast by objects blocking the light. They were alive, breathing and moving with a will of their own. They danced on the walls, played in the corners, and whispered secrets on the wind. The people of Eldoria had grown accustomed to this curious phenomenon treating it with a mix of respect and wariness. For as long as anyone could remember, shadows and humans lived side by side, an uneasy truce governing their coexistence. The origins of Eldoria's shadows were shrouded in mystery, a tale lost to time, yet whispered in the night. It was said that once, the land had been bathed in eternal light, with no darkness to be found. But such imbalance brought its own despair, for without shadows, there was no relief, no place to hide, no mystery. The world was stark, and life overwhelming in its relentless brightness. And so, the shadows were born from the world's desire for balance, a manifestation of the need for contrast and relief, for rest and whispers in the quiet. In Eldoria, children grew up listening to tales of the shadows' capricious nature they were taught to speak softly in the dark, to tread lightly in the twilight, and to always, always respect the dance of light and shadow. For in this dance was the essence of life itself, the balance between the known and the unknown, the seen and the unseen. Yet, for all the caution woven into the fabric of their daily lives, the people of Eldoria found beauty in their unique companions. Festivals were held on the nights when the moon was fullest, celebrating the intricate patterns shadows weaved across the land. Artists sought to capture their fluid forms, while poets sang of their silent music. Shadows, in turn, seemed
seemed to enjoy the attention, their movements becoming playful, their whispers like laughter on the wind. But not all shadows were mere spectators or benign participants in the lives of the people. There were ancient shadows, deep and old, that seldom stirred. These were the remnants of a forgotten time, holding secrets of the shadow realm, a place where the essence of all shadows converged. It was said that only a select few, the shadow whisperers, could navigate this realm, speak to its inhabitants, and return with knowledge beyond imagining. The legend of the Shadow Whisperers was as old as Eldoria itself. They were revered as guardians of the balance, mediators between light and shadow. With their passing, the knowledge of the Shadow Realm and its secrets faded into myth. A tale to entertain children by the firelight, yet in the heart of Eldoria, unbeknownst to all, a new chapter was about to begin. A chapter that would remind everyone of the delicate dance they were all a part of, the dance of light and shadow. In the tranquil dawn, as Eldoria slowly awakened beneath the caress of the morning sun, a whisper traveled through the shadows, soft as silk and mysterious as the moonlit night. It was a day like any other for the people of Eldoria, yet destiny was stirring, quietly weaving the threads of a story long awaited. Lila, a girl of neither remarkable lineage nor fortune, found herself at the heart of this unfolding tale. With hair as dark as the night sky and eyes that shimmered with the curiosity of a thousand stars, Lila was known throughout the village for her fearless spirit and kind heart. But what truly set her apart was not something the eye could see. It was a gift buried deep within, a connection to the whispers of the shadows that she herself did not yet understand. It began as a feeling, a sense that she was never alone that the shadows danced not just around her, but with her. They seemed to flicker with joy at her laughter, and at times, Lila could almost hear them whisper her name, their voices like the gentle rustling of leaves in the wind. To her, it was a mystery a secret part of the world that she longed to understand. The elders spoke of the shadow whisperers in hushed tones, their stories tinged with awe and fear. These were the chosen few who could communicate with the shadows, who could traverse the shadow realm and influence the very essence of darkness and light. But such power came at a cost. For to walk too closely with the shadows was to risk losing oneself, to become lost in the darkness, never to return to the light. Lila's fascination with the shadows grew with each passing day. She would watch them intently, trying to decipher their silent language to understand the stories they told. And as she listened, 
the whispers grew clearer, no longer just fleeting impressions, but voices calling out to her, inviting her to step closer, to listen, to understand. One evening, under the cloak of twilight, Lila ventured into the forest, drawn by a whisper that seemed to echo her own longing. The shadows here were older, deeper, their whispers more insistent. They spoke of forgotten times, of secrets hidden in the darkness, of a world beyond the reach of the sun's light. It was here, in the heart of the forest, that Lila's destiny found her. A shadow unlike any other approached, its form shifting and changing, a being of pure darkness and light. It spoke to her directly, its voice a melody that resonated with her very soul. Lila, it said, you are the bridge between our worlds, the whisperer long awaited. The balance is shifting and darkness grows. Your journey begins now, with us, with the shadows. Fear gripped Lila's heart, for the path that lay before her was fraught with unknown dangers. But within her, a fire kindled, a determination to protect her home, to uncover the mysteries of the shadows and to find her place within the delicate balance of light and darkness. As she returned to the village, the shadows whispered their farewells, but their voices no longer held mystery or fear for Lila. They were a call to adventure, to a destiny only she could fulfill. And so, the girl who had once watched the shadows with wonder began her journey as a whisperer, one who would speak for the shadows and, in doing so, protect the world she loved. In the days that followed, Lila found herself at the cusp of a world she'd only dreamed of, a world where the whispers of the shadows became her guide and their secrets, her treasure. Yet, amidst the wonder, a shadow of doubt lingered. How, she wondered, could a simple village girl embrace such a fate, to stand as the guardian of balance between light and dark? The answer came on a day painted with the hues of an early spring morning, when the air was filled with the promise of new beginnings. Lila's grandmother, Mira, summoned her to the old cottage at the edge of the village, a place of many whispered secrets and silent shadows. Mira, with her silver hair flowing like moonlight and eyes as deep as the night, was the keeper of their family's lore. She had watched Lila grow, seen the signs of the Whisperer's gift awakening, and knew that the time had come to reveal the truths that had long been guarded. Sit with me, child. Mira began, her voice a comforting melody. The story I am about to tell you is as old as the shadows themselves. It is your story, Layla, the tale of who you are and who you are meant to be. With those words, Mira unveiled the legacy of the Shadow Whisperers 
a lineage that stretched back to the dawn of Eldoria. They were beings of great power and wisdom, chosen by destiny to walk the thin veil between light and shadow. And Lila, she revealed, was the latest in this line. The hope long awaited. You see, my dear, the shadows speak to you because it is your birthright, your duty to listen and to understand. But with this gift comes a great responsibility. You must learn to wield this power with care, for in the balance of light and shadow, there is a delicate harmony. Disturb it, and the consequences could be dire. Lila listened, her heart a tempest of emotions, pride, fear, and an overwhelming sense of purpose. She understood now why the shadows whispered her name, why she felt their joys and sorrows as her own. She was a part of them, and they, a part of her. But how do I begin, Grandmother? Lila asked, her voice barely above a whisper. How do I learn to control this power? Mira smiled a knowing glint in her eyes. You begin as all whisperers have, with the first whisper. You must learn to listen, truly listen, not just to the words, but to the feelings, the memories, the very essence of the shadows. In their whispers, you will find your strength. And so, under Mira's guidance, Lila embarked on her journey of discovery. She learned to attune herself to the shadows, to understand their language of emotion and memory. With each passing day, her connection to them grew stronger, and her ability to influence their form and essence began to awaken. Yet, as Lila delved deeper into her training, a sense of urgency pressed upon her. The balance of light and shadow was shifting, as Mira had warned, and dark whispers spoke of a gathering storm, an ancient evil long forgotten was stirring in the shadows, threatening to engulf Eldoria in darkness. Determined to protect her home and master her gift, Lila pushed herself further, her resolve hardening. She would become the whisperer she was meant to be, the guardian of balance and the protector of Eldoria. And as the sun set, Painting the sky in shades of fire and gold, Lila stood at the threshold of destiny, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For she was Lila, the girl who whispered to the shadows, and her story was only just beginning. As the days melted into weeks, Lila's communion with the shadows deepened, her skill growing under Mira's watchful guidance. But with this newfound power came an unspoken fear, a tremor in the fabric of the world that whispered of a looming threat. It was during one of their nightly lessons, beneath the canopy of stars, and the watchful gaze of the moon, that Mira decided it was time to share a secret long kept. The air was crisp, carrying the scent of blooming night flowers as they sat in the garden, a place where light 
and shadow danced in harmony. Lila, Mira began, her voice steady but tinged with a hint of sorrow. There is a part of our history, a chapter dark and fraught with peril, that you must know. It is the story of the Shadow's Heart, an ancient entity of immense power and malice. Lila listened, her heart a knot of anticipation and dread, as Mira recounted the tale of the Shadow's Heart. It was a force of pure darkness, born from the deepest fears and darkest desires of the world. Long ago, it had sought to consume Eldoria, to drown the kingdom in eternal night. The shadow whisperers of old had risen against it, sealing it away at a great cost. Their lives and the promise of eternal vigilance by their descendants. The balance you seek to protect, Mira continued, her gaze locking with Lila's, is threatened once more. The shadow's heart stirs, its chains weakened by the passage of time and the fading memory of its existence. You, Lila, are the key to preventing its return. A heavy silence fell between them, the weight of destiny pressing down on Lila's shoulders. She understood now the gravity of her role, the journey she must undertake. It was not just a path of self-discovery, but a quest to safeguard the world from a darkness that sought to engulf it. How do we stop it? Lila asked, her voice a mix of determination and fear. The answer lies within the shadow realm, Mira replied, her eyes reflecting the starlight. You must journey there, to the heart of our power, and find the means to strengthen the seal, to bind the shadow's heart once more. The thought of venturing into the shadow realm, a place of untold mysteries and dangers, sent a shiver down Lila's spine. Yet, within her, a flame of resolve flickered to life. She would face this challenge, armed with her gift and the teachings of her ancestors. In the morning, your training will take a new direction. We have little time and you must be prepared, Mira said, her tone imbued with an urgency that brooked no argument. That night, Lila lay awake, the moon casting shadows across her room. She thought of the journey ahead, of the secrets that lay hidden in the darkness, and of the light she hoped to bring. The shadows whispered to her, a chorus of voices that spoke of fear, hope, and the delicate balance she was sworn to protect. As dawn painted the sky with the first light of a new day, Lila rose, her resolve stealing. She was the whisperer, the guardian of light and shadow and she would face whatever the shadow realm held. For in her heart, she carried the light of Eldoria, the hope of her people, and the love of her family. With each step she took towards the unknown, Lila felt the shadows gather around her, a cloak of protection and power. 
she was ready to embark on the most perilous journey of her life, to unlock the secrets of the Shadow Realm and confront the darkness that threatened her world. As the sun rose over Eldoria, casting a golden glow over the land, a shadow darker and deeper than the night began to spread its tendrils across the kingdom. Whispers of unease fluttered through the village, tales of shadows moving against their nature, of darkness lingering where light should prevail. The people of Eldoria felt the change in the air, a chill that crept into their bones, a darkness that no fire could dispel. Lila, with the burden of her destiny pressing upon her, watched as the world she knew began to fray at the edges. The shadows that had once danced in harmony with the light now seemed agitated, their whispers tinged with fear. It was a sign, a precursor to the storm that was coming, the awakening of the shadow's heart. Under Mira's tutelage, Lila's training intensified. Every day, from the first light of dawn to the last glimmer of twilight, she honed her abilities, learning to weave the essence of shadows, to shape and command them. But it was not just the mastery of shadows that occupied her time. It was the understanding of the balance, the delicate interplay of light and darkness that governed all things. As Lila grew stronger, so too did the connection between her and the shadows. They spoke to her of the past, of the battles fought by the whisperers against the darkness, of the sacrifices made to preserve the balance. And in their whispers, Lila found a resolve not just to protect Eldoria, but to heal the rift that had allowed the shadow's heart to stir once more. One evening, as the sky bled colors of fire and night, Lila ventured into the forest, drawn by a call that resonated deep within her soul. There, amidst the ancient trees where shadows lay thick, she encountered a being of pure darkness, a shadow unlike any other. It was a guardian, a protector of the boundary between the worlds of light and shadow, and it bore a message. The time is near, it said, its voice a cascade of whispers. The heart stirs, its chains weaken. You must be ready, for its gaze turns towards the light, towards Eldoria. Lila stood firm, her heart a beacon of light in the enveloping darkness. I will face it, she declared. I will not let the darkness consume our world. The guardian nodded, a motion like the rustling of leaves in a gentle breeze. Then go forth, whisperer, seek the heart. But remember, the power to bind it lies not in strength, but in understanding, in the harmony of light and shadow. With those words, the guardian faded into the night, leaving Lila alone with the stars and her thoughts. She knew what she must do, the path she must take, but the weight of her task 
lay heavy on her shoulders. How could she, a single whisperer, stand against a force that had threatened the world since time immemorial? But as she made her way back to the village, the shadows whispered their encouragement, their faith in her unwavering. They spoke of her strength, of her heart, and of the light that she carried within. And in their whispers, Lila found the courage to face the gathering darkness, to stand as a beacon of hope in the encroaching night. The challenge was set, the battle lines drawn. Lila would journey into the heart of darkness to confront the shadow's heart and seal it away once more. And though the path was fraught with danger, she would not walk it alone. For in her heart, she carried the light of Eldoria, the love of her family, and the hope of all who lived in the shadow of the darkness. The dawn of the day that followed brought with it a silence so profound. It felt as though Eldoria itself held its breath. The golden hues of morning were tainted with a shadow that seemed to swallow the light. A foreboding omen of the challenge that lay ahead. Lila stood at the edge of the village, gazing into the forest that bordered their land, where darkness pooled like ink beneath the trees. Today, she would journey into the heart of that darkness to confront the shadow's heart and fulfill her destiny as a whisperer. She carried with her not just the hopes of her people, but the legacy of all those who had walked this path before her. Clad in determination and armed with the wisdom of her ancestors, Lila stepped forward, her heart a steady drumbeat against the tide of fear. The forest greeted her with a silence that echoed her own resolve. Shadows shifted, parting before her like a sea, their whispers now a chorus that guided her steps. She was not alone, for the shadows themselves bore witness to her courage, a testament to the bond she had forged with the world they inhabited. As Lila ventured deeper, the air grew thick, heavy with the power that seemed to claw at the light, seeking to extinguish it. And then, in a clearing, where no light dared to touch, she found it, the shadow's heart. It pulsed with a darkness so profound, it seemed to devour the very space around it, a maelstrom of fear and despair. The shadow's heart spoke, its voice a cacophony of every dark thought, every shadowed fear that had ever been whispered in the night. You come to bind me, whisperer, but you will find only despair. For I am darkness incarnate, the end of all light. Lila felt the weight of its words, a pressure that sought to crush her spirit. But within her, a light flickered, fueled by the love and hope she carried. I come not to destroy, but to restore balance, she replied, her voice a beacon in the darkness. For light and shadow 
must coexist, each giving meaning to the other. With those words, the battle began, not of swords and shields, but of wills. The shadow's heart unleashed its power, a tempest of darkness that sought to overwhelm her, to drown her in despair. But Lila stood firm, her voice a steady chant that wove through the darkness, a thread of light that bound the shadows. She called upon the lessons of her ancestors, the wisdom of the shadows, and the strength of her own heart. With each word, the darkness receded, its power waning before the resolve of a single whisperer who dared to stand against it. And then, in a moment as brief as a heartbeat, the tide turned. The shadow's heart faltered, its darkness unraveling before the light that Lila wielded. With a final whisper, a promise of balance and harmony, she bound it once more, sealing away the darkness with a light that would guard it for generations to come. Exhausted but triumphant, Lila emerged from the forest as dawn broke across the sky, painting the world in hues of gold and pink. The shadows retreated, whispering their thanks, their voices a melody of relief and joy. Eldoria was safe, the balance restored, thanks to the courage of a young whisperer who had faced the darkness and prevailed. As she returned to the village, her people greeted her with cheers and tears, their hearts full of gratitude and awe. Lila had not just saved Eldoria. She had reminded them of the power of light and shadow, of the harmony that existed in their coexistence. And though the path ahead would be fraught with its own challenges, they knew that with Lila, the Whisperer of Shadows, to guide them, they would face it together as a kingdom united in the dance of light and darkness. Chapter 2 Lila's Journey In the wake of her victory over the Shadow's heart, Lila found herself standing at the dawn of a new day for Eldoria. The kingdom rejoiced in her success, yet for Lila, this was but the first step on a longer journey. With the immediate threat quelled, her thoughts turned to the road ahead, to the legacy of the Shadow Whisperers, and the deeper mysteries of the Shadow Realm that awaited her. Under the soft glow of the morning sun, Mira led Lila to the ancient library hidden beneath their cottage, a place where the air was thick with the scent of old parchment and whispered secrets. Here, the history of the Whisperers was inscribed, a legacy of courage, sacrifice, and wisdom passed down through generations. As you have learned, the power of the whisperers is a gift, but it is also a responsibility, Mira began, her voice echoing softly in the quiet of the library. Our ancestors understood this. They knew that to walk in both light and shadow was to hold the balance of the world in their hands. She handed Lila a tome, its pages worn by time, 
the ink faded, but the words still clear. It was the story of the first whisperer, a tale of discovery and destiny. Lila read of how the shadows had first revealed themselves, not as foes, but as guardians of the balance, seeking those with the heart to understand and the will to protect. The history unfolded, revealing the trials the whisperers had faced, the sacrifices made to seal away darkness, and the eternal vigil they kept over the realm of shadows. Each story was a testament to their resolve, a reminder of the strength that lay in understanding and harmony. It is your turn to add to this legacy, Lila, Mira said, watching her granddaughter with a mix of pride and solemnity. But before you can do that, you must understand the full extent of your powers and the history that has shaped them. With Mira's guidance, Lila delved into her training, exploring the depths of her connection to the shadows. She learned to navigate the shadow realm, a place of infinite mystery and beauty, where light and darkness wove together in an endless dance. Here, she met the friendly shadows, beings of pure essence who offered their knowledge and support. They were companions and teachers, each sharing their own story, their own wisdom. Lila learned the language of the shadows, a silent symphony of emotions and thoughts that flowed between them. She discovered how to weave the essence of shadows, shaping them with her will, a skill that required not just power, but a deep empathy and understanding. Her training was not without challenges, the shadow realm was a reflection of both the light and darkness within oneself, and Lila faced her own fears and doubts as she journeyed deeper. But with each step, she grew stronger, more confident in her abilities and her purpose. The days turned to weeks, and with each lesson, Lila felt her connection to the shadow strengthen. She was no longer just a whisperer. She was a guardian of the balance, a bridge between two worlds. And as she mastered her abilities, she prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Armed with the wisdom of her ancestors, and the power of the shadows at her side. In this time of growth and learning, Lila came to understand the true legacy of the Whisperers. It was not just a lineage of power, but a promise to protect, to understand, and to bring harmony to a world where light and shadow coexisted. And as she closed the ancient tome, the stories of the past echoing in her heart, Lila knew that she was ready to continue their legacy, to face the unknown with courage, and to weave her own story into the tapestry of their history. With the legacy of the Whisperers woven into the fabric of her being, 
Delilah stood at the threshold of a journey that would take her deeper into the shadows than she had ever ventured before. Her heart, a beacon of light in the enveloping darkness, guided her steps as she prepared to enter the shadow realm. This was a place of profound mystery, where the essence of shadows thrived, and the secrets of the balance between light and darkness were kept. Mira, wise and steadfast, offered her counsel on the eve of this journey. The shadow realm is a reflection of our world, yet it is also a place beyond our understanding, she explained, her eyes alight with the knowledge born of experience. Here, light does not exist as we know it, and darkness is not merely the absence of light, but a presence, alive and vibrant. Armed with this wisdom, Lila stepped into the realm, the shadows welcoming her as one of their own. The transition was seamless, a gentle shift that brought her to a world both strange and familiar. Here, the ground pulsed with a soft luminescence, and the sky was a tapestry of dark hues illuminated by stars that shone with an inner light. The shadow realm was alive, its essence flowing around her, whispering secrets of the ancient balance that governed all things. Lila listened, her heart open, as the realm itself taught her the delicate dance of light and darkness. She learned that neither could exist without the other, that each gave meaning and purpose to its opposite. As she ventured deeper, the landscape changed, revealing forests of shadows that whispered with the voices of those who had passed through this realm, rivers that flowed with a liquid darkness and mountains that soared into the sky, their peaks lost in the void. Each step brought new understanding, a deeper connection to the shadows and the world they inhabited. It was in the heart of this realm that Lila encountered the true essence of shadows, not as enemies or allies, but as beings of balance, capable of both harm and healing, destruction and creation. They spoke to her of their nature, of the joy they found in the dance between worlds, and of the sorrow that came from being misunderstood, feared by those who could not see beyond the darkness. Lila's heart ached with the beauty and tragedy of their existence, and she vowed to be a bridge between the realms, to bring understanding and harmony where there had been fear and conflict. The shadows, in turn, offered her their wisdom, their strength, and their allegiance. They recognized in her a kindred spirit, a whisperer who could speak for them, who could bring light to the darkness and darkness to the light. The journey through the shadow realm was not without its trials. There were places where the darkness was oppressive where fear and despair seemed to have a hold. But Lila faced these challenges with courage, 
using her newfound understanding to bring balance, to illuminate the darkness with the light of her heart. When she emerged from the realm, Lila was changed. She carried within her the essence of the shadows, a deep understanding of the balance between light and darkness. She had ventured into the heart of shadows and found not enemies, but allies, not darkness, but a spectrum of light that was invisible to those who feared to look. Her return to Eldoria was marked by a newfound confidence, a sense of purpose that shone from her like a beacon. Lila had learned the secrets of the Shadow Realm, had touched the essence of shadows in the days following her return from the Heart of Shadows. Lila found the world around her imbued with a richness she had never before perceived. The shadows of Eldoria, once mere companions of the night, now greeted her with voices and personalities as varied and vivid as the people of the kingdom themselves. It was during this time of newfound understanding that Lila would meet the unique shadows who would become her closest allies, each bringing their own strengths to her quest. The first of these was Whisper, a shadow that moved with the grace of a silent breeze and spoke in tones so soft it was like the rustling of leaves. Whisper had the ability to move unseen, to listen where others would speak, and in doing so, learned secrets that the wind itself seemed to keep. Trust, Whisper taught Lila, is not given lightly, but once earned, it is stronger than the mightiest fortress. Next, Lila encountered Vale, a shadow that could spread itself thin, covering the light as easily as it could merge with the darkness. Vale taught Lila the art of concealment, of protecting those who needed to remain unseen, and of revealing the hidden truths that lay just beyond sight. Teamwork, Vale showed her, is the weaving of individual strengths into a tapestry that can cover and protect or uncover and reveal. The third ally to join her was named Echo. Echo had the unique ability to mimic the forms and essences of other shadows, creating reflections that could confuse and confound. With Echo's help, Lila learned the value of adaptation, of being able to change and respond to the unexpected. In the echoes of our actions, Echo taught her, are the lessons we've learned and the futures we shape. Together, Lila and her shadow allies ventured deeper into the mysteries of Eldoria and the balance between light and darkness. They encountered challenges that would have daunted any one of them alone. But together, they found strength and solutions in their diversity. From the depths of the darkest forest to the heights of the brightest peaks, they traveled, a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. 
one such challenge came in the form of a rift, a tear in the fabric of the shadow realm that bled darkness into the world in a way that threatened to unbalance both. It was here, at the edge of this gaping maw of shadow, that the true strength of their alliance was tested. Whisper listened for the rift's silent cry. Veil concealed their approach from the malevolent eyes that guarded it, and Echo created a diversion that allowed them to reach the heart of the rift. Lila, drawing upon the strength and wisdom of her allies, wove a spell of light and shadow that mended the tear, restoring balance where there had been discord. As the rift sealed, a wave of calm spread through the shadow realm and into the world of light, a harmony felt by every soul in Eldoria. In the aftermath, as they stood together at the threshold between worlds, Lila realized the depth of the bonds she had formed with Whisper, Veil, and Echo. They were more than allies. They were friends, each a crucial part of the journey she had undertaken. They had taught her the importance of trust, of teamwork, and of the strength found in diversity. As they returned to Eldoria, their hearts light with the success of their endeavor, Lila knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, she would not face them alone. Together, they would navigate the delicate balance of their world, guardians not just of the light or the shadow, but of the unity that existed between. The days that followed were filled with the light of understanding and the warmth of newfound friendships as Lila and her shadow allies continued their quest to maintain the balance between light and darkness. However, peace is often a precursor to storm, and it wasn't long before the harmony they had fought to protect was threatened once again. A shadow, unlike any they had encountered before, began to haunt the edges of Eldoria. It was a shadow corrupted, not born of natural balance, but twisted by fear and anger, emotions that had seeped into its essence and darkened it beyond recognition. Its presence brought unease, its touch a chill that whispered of despair. The people of Eldoria, who had begun to embrace the shadows as part of their world, now found their trust wavering. Whispers of fear circulated like cold wind, threatening to unravel the bonds of understanding Lila and her allies had worked so hard to weave. Lila knew that confronting this shadow was not just a matter of protecting Eldoria. It was a test of her will, her strength as a whisperer, and her commitment to the balance she had vowed to uphold. With her allies at her side, she set out to find the corrupted shadow to face it not with force, but with the compassion and patience that were the hallmarks of a true whisperer. 
they found the shadow lurking in the depths of an ancient forest, where the light of the sun barely touched the ground. It was a place of deep sorrow and lingering anger, emotions that fed the shadow's corruption. As they approached, the air grew colder, the whispers of fear louder, but Lila's resolve did not waver. Who has hurt you so? Lila asked, her voice a gentle caress in the oppressive gloom. The shadow recoiled, its form quivering with rage and pain. It lashed out, tendrils of darkness seeking to drown Lila in its despair. But she stood firm, her heart a beacon in the darkness. With Whisper's guidance, she listened to the shadow's silent cries. With Veil's protection, she shielded herself from its pain. And with Echo's support, she mirrored the shadow's emotions, showing it the depth of its own despair. It was a battle of wills, a confrontation that demanded all of Lila's strength, patience, and understanding. Hour by hour, she remained with the shadow, speaking words of comfort, sharing whispers of hope. She spoke of the balance between light and dark, of the beauty that lay in their coexistence, and of the peace that could be found in understanding. As the hours passed, the shadow's rage began to ebb, its form softening, the darkness receding to reveal the essence of what it once had been, a guardian of the balance lost to fear and anger. With each word Lila spoke, the corruption was washed away, leaving behind a shadow healed, its true nature restored. In the silence that followed, the forest seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. The shadow, now free of its corruption, whispered its thanks, its voice a melody of light and darkness. It had been lost, but through Lila's patience and understanding, it had been found and saved. The people of Eldoria witnessing the transformation, felt their fear dissolve, replaced by a renewed trust in the shadows and the whisperer who had stood for them. Lila had faced her first major challenge and emerged victorious, not through force, but through the strength of her will and the depth of her heart. As she and her allies returned to the village, the bond between them strengthened by the trial they had faced, Lila knew that this was but one of many challenges they would encounter. But with her friends by her side and the wisdom of the whisperers within her, she was ready for whatever the path ahead might bring. In the wake of her confrontation with the corrupted shadow, Lila found herself standing at the edge of a new understanding, her abilities as a whisperer deepening in ways she had only begun to comprehend. The experience had forged her will tempered her spirit, and now it was time for her to embrace the full extent of her powers. Under the watchful eyes of Mira and the supportive presence of her shadow allies, 
Lila dedicated herself to mastering the ancient art of communication with the shadows. It was a skill that required more than just the ability to listen and respond. It demanded a deep connection, a resonance with the very essence of the shadow realm. As Lila's training progressed, she discovered within herself the first whisper, the primal communication that connected all whisperers to the shadows. It was a language of emotion and thought, transcending words and gestures, a shared understanding that bridged the gap between light and darkness. With the first whisper, Lila found she could reach out to the shadows in a way she never had before. She could feel their joys and sorrows, their fears and hopes, as if they were her own. And as her mastery grew, so too did her ability to command the shadows, to guide them with a gentle hand, shaping their form and essence with her will. But with great power came great responsibility, and Lila knew that her abilities were not meant for command, but for harmony. She worked with the shadows, asking for their aid, not demanding it, and in return, they granted her their loyalty and strength. It was during a moment of deep communion with the shadows that Lila uncovered a secret long hidden in the depths of the shadow realm, a whisper of an ancient evil that had once threatened Eldoria, the same darkness that the shadow's heart had sought to unleash. The shadow spoke of a place where the darkness was strongest, a nexus of power that had remained dormant, hidden from the eyes of those who walked in the light. With the guidance of the first whisper, Lila traced the tendrils of darkness back to their source, a forgotten temple buried deep within the Aldorian forests, cloaked in shadows and sealed from the world. It was here that the ancient evil lay bound, its power contained but not extinguished, a threat that could rise again if left unchecked. Understanding the gravity of her discovery, Lila shared her knowledge with Mira and her allies. Together, they devised a plan to confront this ancient darkness, to ensure that it would never again threaten the balance between light and darkness. As they prepared for their journey to the Forgotten Temple, Lila felt the weight of her destiny more acutely than ever. She was the bridge between two worlds, the guardian of a balance that had been maintained for generations. Her journey as a whisperer had led her to this moment the edge of a confrontation with a darkness that had lurked in the shadows of Eldoria for centuries. But Lila was not alone. With her shadow allies by her side and the first whisper within her heart, she stepped forward into the unknown, ready to face whatever lay ahead. For she was Lila, the Whisperer of Eldoria, and she would protect her home, her people, 
and the balance she had sworn to uphold. As they set out for the forgotten temple, the shadows whispered their encouragement, their voices a chorus of strength and support. Lila knew that the challenges ahead would test her in ways she could not yet imagine. But she also knew that she was ready. For in her heart, she carried the light of understanding, the darkness of courage, and the hope of all those who lived in the delicate dance between. As the journey towards the Forgotten Temple commenced, the world around Lila seemed to thrum with an ancient energy, a reminder of the balance she was sworn to protect. With every step, the bond between her and the shadows deepened, a testament to the unity forged in the crucible of their shared trials. It was in these moments, with the path ahead shrouded in uncertainty, that the true nature of the bonds formed between Lila and her shadow allies was revealed. Whisper, veil, and echo moved around her, not just as guardians, but as companions, their presence a constant comfort. They spoke in the silent language of the shadows, their voices carrying the warmth of friendship and the strength of shared purpose. This journey had shown them all that connections formed in the heart are not bound by the physical world, but are as real and profound as the most visible of ties. One night, as they camped near the edge of a clearing, illuminated only by the soft glow of bioluminescent flowers, Lila and her allies shared their hopes and fears. They spoke of what the world might be like if they succeeded, of the balance they would restore, and the peace that would follow. It was a moment of vulnerability, of open hearts and minds that cemented their bond beyond any doubt. Lila learned from Whisper the value of listening, of the power held in the silence between words. From Veil, vale, she learned the strength of protection of the shield formed by unity and trust. Echo taught her the importance of adaptation, of finding oneself reflected in others and growing stronger through understanding. Each lesson, each moment, wove the fabric of their connection tighter creating a bond that transcended the physical realm. As they approached the temple, the air thick with the anticipation of the challenge that awaited, Lila felt a calm resolve settle over her. The journey had changed her, not just as a whisperer, but as a being of both light and shadow. She had learned that true strength lies not in power over others, but in the unity found in diversity, in the bonds formed through understanding and respect. The temple loomed before them, its ancient stones a silent witness to the eons that had passed since its sealing. The darkness within pulsed with a malevolent energy, 
a stark contrast to the harmony Lila and her allies embodied. Yet, as they stood at the threshold, they did not waver, for they knew that together they were stronger than any darkness that lay ahead. The bond between Lila and her shadow allies was their greatest strength, a light that shone even in the deepest darkness. It was a reminder that friendships, true and deep, can transcend all barriers, physical or otherwise. As they prepared to enter the temple, to face the darkness with the light of their united hearts, Lila knew that whatever the outcome, the journey had already shown her the true power of bonds beyond light. For in the end, it is not the battles we fight, but the friendships we forge that define us. Lila, Whisper, Veil, and Echo stepped into the temple not just as warriors against the darkness, but as symbols of the unbreakable bonds formed in the pursuit of a shared cause. Together, they were a beacon of hope, a testament to the fact that understanding and love can bridge worlds, lighting the darkness and guiding the way forward. Chapter 3 the dawn of shadows. As the first light of dawn touched the horizon, casting a pale glow over the land, a shadow darker than the night itself crept across Eldoria. The ancient evil, once sealed within the forgotten temple, had been stirred, its chains loosened by unseen forces. Now, it sought to claim the land it viewed as its own, enveloping everything in a darkness so profound it threatened to extinguish the light forever. Lila, standing atop the walls of Eldoria, watched as the dark force amassed at the edge of the kingdom. The air crackled with power, the sky turned a menacing shade of gray, and the earth trembled beneath the weight of the impending assault. The people of Eldoria, once peaceful and unassuming, found themselves at the heart of a battle for their very existence. But they were not unprepared. Lila with her allies, Whisper, Veil, vale, and Echo, had spent the preceding days fortifying the kingdom's defenses, rallying the people, and preparing for the ultimate confrontation. They stood together, a united front against the darkness, their resolve unshaken. Whisper, ever silent, moved among the defenders, offering words of encouragement that only Lila could hear. Veil spread its essence, creating barriers of shadow that shimmered with protective energy. Echo, with its ability to mimic and amplify, spread the rallying cries of courage and hope, bolstering the spirits of all who heard. Lila herself stood as a beacon of light in the darkness, her connection to both realms now her greatest strength. She called upon the essence of the shadows, weaving them into a tapestry of light and dark that shielded Eldoria from the encroaching evil. 
as the dark force launched its attack. The air filled with the sound of clashing powers, of darkness meeting light in a dance as old as time. The shadows around Eldoria, once feared, now stood as protectors, their forms merging with Lila's spells, creating a defense that was both beautiful and terrifying. The battle raged, a testament to the will of those who fought. The people of Eldoria, once ordinary farmers, merchants, and scholars, found within themselves a courage they had never known. Guided by Lila and her allies, they fought with a strength born of unity, of a shared desire to protect their home. As the siege continued, it became clear that this was more than a battle of strength. It was a test of will, of the belief in light, even in the darkest of times. Lila, at the heart of the defense, felt the weight of the responsibility she carried. She was the bridge between worlds, the keeper of the balance, and now the defender of her people. With each passing moment, the bond between Lila and her shadow allies grew stronger, their powers blending in ways that surprised even them. Together, they pushed back against the darkness, their combined might a force to be reckoned with. The siege of Eldoria would be remembered as the day when light and shadow stood together, when the people of a small kingdom defied the darkness that sought to claim them. It was a battle that would mark the beginning of a new era, an era where the shadows were no longer feared, but embraced as part of the delicate balance that governed all things. As the dawn broke, turning the sky from gray to a cascade of colors, the dark force began to wane its power diminished by the unity and strength of Eldoria's defenders. Lila, standing tall amidst her allies and people, knew that the battle was far from over. But the victory of this day was a testament to what could be achieved when light and shadow worked as one. The siege of Eldoria was not just a confrontation. It was a declaration that in the heart of darkness, there would always be light. And in the deepest shadows, hope would always find a way. In the aftermath of the siege, as the first light of dawn painted the world in hues of hope, the battle between light and shadow continued. It was no longer a fight against an encroaching darkness, but a dance, a dance of unity and strength, where each movement, each shadow, and each beam of light played its part in the defense of Eldoria. The kingdom, its people once wary of the shadows that danced at their feet, now stood side by side with them, witnessing the true potential of harmony. Lila, at the center of this union, directed the dance. Her powers, a conduit between the people and the shadows. Her heart, the rhythm that guided them. With whisper at her side, the secrets of the shadows were revealed. 
their whispers becoming a strategy that outmaneuvered the dark forces. Veil, ever protective, wove barriers of darkness that shielded the warriors of light, while Echo, with its mimicry, confused and divided the enemy, turning their own strength against them. The people of Eldoria, inspired by the courage of Lila and her allies, found within themselves a bravery they had never known. Armed with light and shadow, they fought, not as individuals, but as a single force, a manifestation of the unity that Lila had dreamed of. Blacksmiths, weavers, scholars, and farmers, each brought their own light to the battle, their own shadow to the dance. As the sun rose higher, the battle reached its climax. The dark force, sensing its defeat, unleashed a fury like never before, a torrent of shadows that sought to overwhelm. But Eldoria stood firm, its defenders moving as one, a ballet of shadows and light. Lila, feeling the strain of her connection to both realms, pushed forward, her will unwavering. She called upon the first whisper, the primal bond that connected all life, all light, and all shadow with it. She amplified the unity of Eldoria, her voice a beacon that rallied the hearts of all who heard. The dance of light and shadow became a spectacle of wonder, a display of the true power of balance. Shadows danced with flames, darkness embraced light, and for a moment, the world was caught in a harmony so profound it seemed to pause, to breathe in the beauty of unity. In that moment, the dark force faltered, its power waning against the combined might of Eldoria. The shadows that it had sought to corrupt now turned against it, guided by Lila's hand, strengthened by the bonds of friendship and trust that had been forged in the heat of battle. As the final shadow of the enemy was dispelled, the kingdom erupted in cheers, the victory a testament to the power of teamwork between Lila, the shadows, and the people of Eldoria. The kingdom had witnessed the true potential of living in harmony with the shadows, of embracing the dance of light and shadow as part of their very essence. In the days that followed, as Eldoria began to heal from the scars of battle, the story of the dance of light and shadow spread far and wide. It became a legend, a tale of hope and unity, of how a small kingdom had stood against the darkness, not with swords and shields, but with the power of understanding and harmony. Lila, her heart full of gratitude for the shadows, for her allies, and for her people, knew that this victory was just the beginning. The dance of light and shadow would continue, a never-ending ballet of balance and unity, a legacy that Eldoria would carry forward into the dawn of a new era. As the echoes of victory began to fade, a silence fell over Eldoria, 
a stillness that spoke of a storm yet to come. Lila, her heart both heavy and hopeful, knew that the final chapter of their struggle was upon them. The source of the darkness that had besieged their land was no mere force of nature, but a being with a heart and soul. A forgotten shadow whisperer, consumed by the very darkness they had once vowed to control. This revelation weighed on Lila with the gravity of a thousand shadows. The fallen whisperer was a mirror to what she could become if the balance was ever lost, a cautionary tale of power and responsibility. Yet, within her, a flame of determination was kindled, a resolve to confront this shadow of their past and, if possible, redeem it. Guided by the first whisper and accompanied by her faithful allies, Lila journeyed to the heart of the darkness. The land around them bore the scars of the battle, but life, resilient as ever, had begun to stir anew, a testament to the enduring will of Eldoria. As they approached the lair of the fallen whisperer, a place where shadows twisted and light faltered, Lila felt the presence of her adversary. It was a whisper turned into a roar, a shadow that drowned all light, a despair so profound it threatened to engulf them. Standing at the threshold, Lila called out to the fallen whisperer, her voice a beacon in the oppressive gloom. I know your pain, she spoke her words carrying the weight of understanding and compassion. You were once a guardian of the balance, as am I. Let us end this cycle of darkness and bring forth a new dawn. The response was a tempest of shadows, a fury born of fear and anger. The fallen whisperer, lost to the darkness, saw in Lila not a savior, but a challenger, another light to be extinguished. But Lila stood unshaken, her allies by her side, ready to support her. Whisper, veil, and echo, each lent their strength, their essence mingling with Lila's, forming a shield of light and shadow. Together, they faced the onslaught, a united front against the despair that sought to undo them. The battle that ensued was a clash of wills, a struggle between the light of redemption and the shadow of despair. Lila, with the collective power of her allies, channeled the essence of balance, her whispers becoming roars as she sought to reach the heart of the fallen whisperer. As their powers met, a storm of light and shadow enveloped them, a spectacle of their inner turmoil. Lila, through the chaos, saw glimpses of the whisperer's past of the pain and sacrifice that had led them to this fate. With each revelation, her resolve strengthened, not just to defeat, but to save, to restore the fallen whisperer to the light. In the climax of their confrontation, Lila reached out with the first whisper, her voice a melody of light and darkness, of hope 
and despair, of past mistakes and future redemption. It was a call to the fallen whisperer, an invitation to return to the balance they had once protected. The storm calmed, the shadows receded, and the fallen whisperer, for the first time in eons, heard the true whisper of balance. Consumed by darkness, they had forgotten the light. But Lila, with her courage and the collective power of her allies, had reminded them as the fallen whisperer's roar faded to a whisper, Lila extended her hand, offering redemption, a chance to restore the balance they had both sworn to protect. The moment was a testament to the power of unity, of compassion, and of the enduring light that shines even in the darkest of shadows. In the heart of the forest, where light and shadow danced in an eternal embrace, the climax of a tale as old as time itself unfolded. Lila, the whisperer of Eldoria, stood face to face with the fallen whisperer. Their battle, a poignant reminder of the fragile balance between light and darkness. As the fallen whisperer accepted Lila's hand, a silent acknowledgement of their desire for redemption, the air around them shimmered with a newfound hope. However, the darkness that had consumed them, grown powerful and malevolent, over centuries of isolation, would not release its hold so easily. It was then that the true nature of their confrontation revealed itself. To fully restore the balance and banish the darkness, a sacrifice was required, a relinquishing of power, a surrender to the balance that both had sworn to protect. The fallen whisperer, understanding the depth of their transgression, stepped forward, ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. Lila, her heart heavy with the knowledge of what was to come, pleaded for another way. But the laws of balance were unyielding. The fallen whisperer, with a resolve born of their newfound clarity, whispered their farewell, a cascade of shadows enveloping them as they returned their essence to the realm, their sacrifice a beacon of light in the consuming darkness. As the shadows receded, the forest was bathed in a gentle light, the balance restored, but at a cost that weighed heavily on Lila's soul. She had witnessed the true power of the shadows, the depth of sacrifice required to maintain the balance, and the importance of her role as a guardian of that balance. The fallen whisperer's sacrifice was a testament to the complexities of power and the responsibilities that come with it. Lila, through her journey, had learned that to wield the shadows was not to dominate them, but to understand them, to respect the delicate dance of light and darkness that gave the world its shape. This lesson, though learned in the shadow of sacrifice, illuminated the path ahead. Lila realized that her role as a whisperer 
was not just to protect Eldoria from the darkness, but to ensure that the balance was never again so perilously tipped. The shadows, in their myriad forms, were not just allies or adversaries, but reflections of the world itself, reminders of the beauty and tragedy inherent in existence. In the days that followed, as Eldoria healed from the scars of battle, Lila dedicated herself to teaching the people of the kingdom the lessons she had learned. She spoke of the fallen whisperer, not as a villain, but as a guardian who had lost their way, a reminder of the cost of forgetting the balance. Her allies, Whisper, Veil, and Echo, stood by her side, embodiments of the bond between light and shadow, their presence a comfort and a constant reminder of the sacrifice that had been made. Together, they worked to strengthen the unity within Eldoria, to weave the essence of light and shadow into the fabric of the kingdom's future. As Lila looked upon the kingdom, she had sworn to protect, her heart filled with a mix of sorrow and hope. The shadow sacrifice had taught her the true cost of power, the weight of responsibility, and the unending importance of balance. It was a lesson she would carry with her, a whisper of the past that would guide her steps into the future. In the aftermath of the shadow sacrifice, as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Eldoria awakened to a world forever changed. The darkness that had once threatened to engulf them was gone, its departure leaving behind a silence that spoke of peace, of relief, and of hope. Lila, standing amidst the people she had vowed to protect, felt the weight of her journey lift, replaced by a lightness of being she had never before experienced. She had faced the darkness, not with force, but with understanding and compassion, and in doing so, had brought forth a new dawn for Eldoria. The kingdom, its people once divided by fear and suspicion, now looked upon the shadows with new eyes. The shadows, no longer mere whispers in the dark, moved freely among them, a visible reminder of the balance that had been restored. Eldoria, under Lila's guidance, embraced a new era where light and shadow coexisted, not as adversaries, but as partners in the dance of life. Lila was hailed as a hero, but she accepted the accolades with humility, always quick to credit her allies and the people of Eldoria for their role in the victory. Together, they had proven that unity and understanding could overcome even the darkest of threats. As the days passed, the kingdom flourished, its fields richer, and its forests deeper than they had ever been. The harmony between light and shadow brought with it a prosperity that touched every corner of Eldoria. 
a testament to the balance that now defined their way of life. But Lila knew that their journey was not over. The balance required constant vigilance, a commitment to understanding and coexistence that would need to be nurtured in the hearts of all Eldorians. She dedicated herself to teaching, sharing the lessons she had learned and the values that had guided her. Lila, once a simple girl with an extraordinary gift, had become a beacon of hope, a bridge between the worlds of light and shadow. Her story, a legend whispered in the corners of Eldoria and beyond, served as a reminder of the power of unity and the strength found in compassion. As the years passed, Lila continued to walk the path of the Whisperer, her connection to the shadows as strong as ever. She taught the next generation the importance of balance, of listening to the whispers of the world around them, and of coexisting with the shadows in harmony. The legacy of the Shadow Whisperers, once nearly lost to time, was reborn, stronger and more vibrant than it had ever been. Lila's journey had rekindled the bond between humanity and the shadows, ensuring that the lessons of the past would not be forgotten. The kingdom of Eldoria stood as a beacon to the world, a place where light and shadow danced in harmony, where fear was replaced by understanding, and where the legacy of the Shadow Whisperers lived on in the hearts of its people. And so, as the sun set on another day in Eldoria, casting long shadows that danced alongside the laughter of its people, Lila watched with a heart full of peace. The dance of light and shadow continued, an eternal ballet that spoke of the balance she had fought so hard to protect. In the whisper of the wind and the rustle of the leaves, in the play of light and the embrace of shadow, the legacy of the shadow whisperers endured. A promise of balance, understanding, and coexistence for all who walked in the light and danced with the shadow.